Today we're going to make a comic book shader such as this one on this Spider-Man sculpt. In the shading tab we're going to start by disconnecting my texture from my principled BSDF and we're going to set the color to pure white. We're going to use a shader to RGB node which allows us to use color math on the output from the principal shader and then we can use a color ramp to modify that. I'll add another control color to the color ramp and I will set it to black. Another one which I will go ahead and set to white after moving there. I'm going to modify the first one, make it more like 1.75 to make it more of a bright highlight color. I'm going to go and get a mix RGB shader. Set it to multiply. Turn the factor up and connect it to my texture. And now we got our texture man spider shaded. <laughs> anyway the shadows are too dark we can increase the brightness of the shadows but I'd like to have a little rim light going on we can do this with a Fresnel node spelt with an S it gives this kind of rim light look to it it's a bit too bright though so we can go and search for a math node Connect it and set it to power. I'm going to increase the value to make it darker, maybe to 1.5. I'll duplicate the multiply node, plug it into the other multiply. Plug it in to the color ramp and set it to add. Now we got this nice rim light going around and the shadows are just a little bit brighter since most superhero comics have pretty dark shadows. Next we can go ahead and add another material. We'll just call it outline. You can set the color or since it's going to be black you can just remove the principal node and then it'll be blank. In the modifiers, you can go ahead and add a solidify. I'm going to need to enable backface cooling on my outline material. That way the back of it will be hidden. And I will enable flip normals, turn off fill rim, and set the material. Then I'll play with the thickness. I want just a small negative thickness. About negative three or so is good. Thank you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell to see more videos like this. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comments below.